the center falls to the floor The angel opens her eyes The confusion sets in Before the doctor can even close the door Crashes, an old mother dies. Her intentions fall to the floor. The angel closes her eyes. That was hers Belongs now To the baby down the hall Oh, now I feel it Coming back again Like a rolling thunder Chasing the wind Forces pulling from the center of the earth again I can feel it Hey, how you doing? Justin here. Today we are checking out Lightning Crashes by the band Live from way back in 94. Fantastic song played this in loads of bands. Kind of a good one if you're getting into your bar chords as well because it's open E chord, bar chord B and bar chord F sharp for pretty much the whole song. It's got a nice little rhythmic thing going on an excellent use of dynamics there with a different strumming pattern in the verses and the choruses. Let's get to a close up and check it out. So the chords for the verse are one bar of E, one bar of B, which is bar chord A shape, remembering to not play the thinner string, root note is there, first finger, second fret of the fifth string, third finger does that little bar there, one bar of that, and then two bars of F sharp major, this is an E shape bar chord, one, two, three, four, back to E, sort of works there to just slide the shape off, the B you just have to jump to, Dude, it's worth practicing this little transition to try and make it nice and smooth as well. It doesn't want to be too, like, everything off. See if you can get this transition moving smoothly from there over. That's a good thing to be practicing. You can you can jump from here to the regular E as well. Uh, particularly in this song, we've got a lot of these little kind of muted things going. And uh, most times it's not done with the palm of this hand, which is how I usually do it. It's done by lifting the chord. So uh, when you're lifting the chord, you kind of relax your fingers and it gives you that opportunity to change to the other E as well. So you don't feel like you have to slide it back. It's do whatever one feels easiest for you. Although interestingly, I've seen a couple of videos of this live and it looks like they're tuned to E flat tuning and using F bar chord, C and G. So I, I'm not certain which was the one on the record. To me, it does sound like an open E chord, but uh, who's to know? Uh, for now, we're going to be keeping it in standard tuning and using E, B and F sharp. So the key thing there with the verses is that rhythm. So what we do is we have a down strum, one, two, and. And on beat two, we're just going to mute all of the strings of the palm of our hand. One, two, and. Now I'm doing a little, the pick's kind of touching the string. So there's a little bit of a, and then another down stroke. So one, two, and three, four. And then there's this ta, ta, ta. It doesn't happen so much on the E because we get open strings. So that's more what you hear on the B and the F sharp. So just one, two, and three, four. So there from the, on the B, two and three, four and a, the down, down, up is just done by relaxing the, the B chord there. And then uh, while we're doing that relaxing, we're transitioning to the F sharp. Such a 
nice little groove that one to try and get down to. You'll find you're using it in lots of other songs, not just this one. Different works at different tempos as well. Especially having that nice tuck, tuck, tuck. down, 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 up. That's it, all of the way through the verses. The very last time you build it up a little bit on the F sharp going into that chorus where the chords are staying the same but the uh, you ch make the changes a little quicker. So it's then going E to B to F sharp. And then we're back into that little groove again and that's nearly all of the song there is a bridge though so once you've got the verses down and you've got the choruses down with those two sections the only other bridge part it goes to an a flat minor which is a minor bar e shape minor grip they're at the fourth fret uh, one two three it goes to E flat minor, which will be a root note on the fifth string at the sixth fret, minor shape. Three, four, one. Then the last time it goes to the E here to F sharp. I mean, it's such a, such a lovely song, this one. Uh, I'm not sure how popular it is now in 2020, but back in the late 90s, it was a pretty big song. People would play it at kind of campfire things. It not, not quite, wasn't quite Wish You Were Here, but it was a pretty popular one. Uh, singing along, everyone knew the words, and uh, there's not that many songs where you get to sing the word placenta uh, in the first verse. That's, in fact, I'm not sure of any other songs that use the word placenta in them. It's uh, pretty unusual. But uh, yeah, fantastic song. Uh, hello. Oh, my cat's here. Hello, puss. My cat's never in the videos, only Ziggy. Is she going to come and say hello? Come on. Come here. Come here, puss. Oh, this is unusual. She's not normally in the studio. Come. You want to come and say it? Oh, no. She's, oh, somebody's just opened the door. I'm really sorry, but you don't get to meet my cat now. I thought you were going to uh, get to meet uh, my cat, the bandit. I've got two cats, Smokey and the bandit. And uh, she, the girl cat sometimes comes in here to sleep on the dog's blanket to wind the dog up. but Because uh, dog's not in here now. I think she had a little turn. But my partner opened the door and uh, the cat bolted. Uh, now, I'd forgotten to mention, I should have mentioned at the start of the video, that uh, this song's also great for beginners that just know their A, D and E chords. Uh, they can play all of it except for the bridge. So if you pop a capo on the second fret there, where I was originally playing E, you'd play a D chord. Where I was playing B, you'd obviously be playing an A. And where I was playing an F sharp, you'd be playing an E. So you can have the... Lightning crashes, a new mother cries. And then the chorus is the same chord, so... Obviously, we can't play the bridge, though, if we're doing the capo trick. So uh, you can play all of it except the bridge if you uh, go for the, the cheaty version. I nearly forgot to mention the sound, something that you guys often ask about. And it is quite a distinctive tone uh, in this song. Uh, I was struggling to get it just right, actually. Uh, it's almost certainly a rotary effect. Uh, I'm using the built-in rotary uh, simulator in the Kemper, which sounded kind of close, but there's also some chorusing there and some compression. Now, I tried using a thing called the Hyper Chorus on the Kemper. Uh, I felt like it got a little bit closer, but the, the original version's a bit more extreme. It might be a uni vibe. Uh, 
it's quite hissy the original recording as well so it's almost certainly some nice analog stuff uh and i just don't have time to grab out all my old analog pedals to really nail that sound down um i also found the sound of the guitar a little confusing because at times it sounded like it was a neck pickup and other times it sounded like a bridge pickup um what i ended up using was uh both the bridge pickup and the neck pickup which i can do on this with a push pull pot that i've got uh on the middle tone control uh, so yeah, it's a kind of a, I'm using a mixture of a filtertron and a humbucker uh, to try and get that sound. It's not right. It's not quite sparkly enough, but it still needs to be fat. So I'm not exactly sure. Uh, hopefully that'll help you get kind of in the ballpark. Uh, if you're a big fan, you might want to spend a bit of time tweaking it, or you might find that there's a preset available for uh, this song on on whatever device it is that uh, you happen to use. But that's a good starting point, I think. Yeah, I was just using again a Fender uh, style amplifier. Uh, pro uh, the profile of an amplifier and I'd boosted the middle a little bit the treble and the presence quite a lot I think because I'm using that front pickup and that's quite a round sound I was trying to kind of compensate for that a little bit so maybe that'll help you get started I really hope you enjoyed checking this song out. If you're a beginner guitar player, you should definitely go and check out my beginner song course app. It's got loads and loads of great play along songs like kind of guitar karaoke for beginners. Shows you the chords on the screen to get real life backing tracks as well as some simplified backing tracks for real complete beginners. Uh, you should go and check it out. There's a free trial. Uh, there'll be a link in the description. So go and have a look. I'll see you for plenty more lessons very soon. You'll take care of yourselves. Bye bye.